Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I came up with this beautiful, I don't even know what to call it look. And I was inspired by this photo right here. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, why not recreate it? This one right here, it was by Plaus Makeup Academy and I just really like the color selection so I decided to recreate it and add a little bit of my own taste. So if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be starting off with this beautiful palette. Can we appreciate the packaging? Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're gonna start off by taking this color right here. So we're gonna be using all these transition shades and then we're also gonna use these browns right here and then this black. This is a very long, tedious tutorial, but look how bomb this looks. Yeah, I know. We're starting off with the Morphe E23 brush and we're gonna take Erica. And we're just going to pack this and make this our transition color. I'm sorry, I haven't been uploading so often. I've just been really busy with like schoolwork and just getting a new job. It's just been a crazy, crazy little month for me. But hopefully I can start uploading a little bit more throughout the week. I think what I'm gonna start doing is start making like an official day where you guys can expect a video, stay tuned, turn on that notifications. And I just got my nails done. Can we just, I skipped Halloween and I skipped Thanksgiving because Christmas is here y'all. I am so excited for like the holidays and just everything in general that has to do with like Halloween. Thanksgiving, the eating, you know. This is like the happiest time of the year, but even though it is pretty happy, I still go to college and I still have like a normal life. I go to work, have an internship. I'm just like a crazy busy girl. And if you guys don't already follow my Instagram, go ahead, I'll leave it down below. I will be starting um, to post more often on there as well. So just stay tuned for that. I kind of want to zoom you guys in a little bit, but I feel like sometimes it's hard to see everything and sometimes I'm not in frame. Yep, this looks better. Okay, so yeah, I was actually inspired by this makeup artist that I follow on Instagram. It's like uh, in, an academy, I'll go ahead and leave it down below but they do amazing eye looks i just can't i wish i had like bigger eyelids and like crease space because my eyes are pretty small and the key to this eye look is mostly to just like start by building each color up it took me forever to like perfect blending because i was just the type to want to jump from like one color to the next and then bam that was it but it's just so important to blend every single shade every single color you want your look to be very gradient so now i'm taking this one and this one is called caitlin i changed to the morphe e28 brush which is more like a dome brush and this one we're gonna use this one for most of the crease work so go ahead and start at the outer corner and then move your weight inward. I'm so happy no one is home. I hate when people are home when I'm filming. I just hate it. Cause someone is ought to talk and I just want to slap them in the face, you know? I've lately been using orange all over the crease every single eye look, but you know what? It's Halloween, so girls like orange. Meet Alice. I'll move on to a different brush after this, but I just want to make sure that I'm 
blending, blending, blending. Blend this out right here, the edges. So as I was saying, I used the subculture palette and I was trying to be nice because it has such pretty colors. The colors are just life. They scream fall. If you love fall, you would think that this palette is for you. But let me tell you, the blending was just like, it was just not there. I don't know, it was too pigmented. Like, And I love pigmented shadows, don't get me wrong, but this is just like another level of blending. Like you need to be the blending queen to make this work. And I don't think I'm there yet, so whatever. I'll just keep it on the side until I can make it work. Next up is Riley. We're gonna take Riley and kind of mix it with this color because we want to start making this crease a little bit smoky. So now I moved on to the Morphe M139 brush. This is a very tapered blending dome brush. Very blended, very good. Good job, Diana. Thank you. Yes, girl. So now we want to take this one right here, and this one is called Courtney with the same blending brush. Mm hmm You see that? Mm hmm That was me. Flat shader brush, and this is just from one of my palettes. Start packing it here, and then we'll go ahead and blend that out in a bit. So now we're gonna take my favorite concealer lip thing to cut the crease. Concealer lip thing, wow, great vocab. Take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC20. I'm not even breathing right now. I think that's pretty good. Just taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Pauta. We want to set this before we apply the other shadow because if we don't set this, the other shadow might crack. And we don't want the other shadow to crack. We want it to look very pretty, you know? Jasmine and we're gonna put this all over the little part we just carved out Now we want to start smoking it more so it could be like darker So we're taking Courtney and we're taking this black shade right here An eyeliner brush like this want we want to start kind of outlining where we cut the crease because we want that line to be very sharp like this so you see like the little you see where exactly you cut the crease so go ahead and outline it you see how much better it's looking Okay, now take your little small M507 brush. This is a very small little tapered blending brush. This is great for like cut creases. Just start blending this little part out. Get the Dose of Colors little palette and I'm gonna use Turboson. This is what it looks like, it's very purpley brown color and we're just gonna blend that right on top this is a hard step for most people just because i have nails so it's very hard to like get right in there you know and then especially in the crease like the cut crease part we're gonna repeat almost the same steps as the crease but leaving out the two first shades we used I'm gonna take the essence brush we used earlier 
and then pack in Courtney and then Carly. Bye Coco and these are called Venus. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim them just a little tiny bit and then go ahead and pop them right on. So now that we have our lashes on, we're gonna move on to the face. So I'm gonna take of course my two favorite primers and mix them both. And this is a double wear foundation and I'm in the shade ECRU. So I'm gonna take this foundation and I'm gonna mix it with my illuminating drops because I wanna look more glittery today. So now that we have our foundation on, we want to move on to concealer. And I'm using my favorite tape shape concealer. I'm going to put this under my eyes. Let's set our face now with our Laura Mercier translucent powder. I feel like every powder that I use is just not as satisfying as using this one because this one never lets me down. So I love this one. Let's go ahead and take it um, with a Morphe 335 brush. It's like, it looks like this. Kind of like do padding motions. I lack face products. I really do. Because I have like palettes like these where I don't need any more bronzers to get, in my opinion. Like these are so many bronzers. I have like one, two, three, four, eight bronzers, I believe. You yeah. know. Take Sun Bunny and Chocolate Soleil. And we're gonna mix both to create a nice bronzer look. And I am using the Morphe 529 brush. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's an orange coral color. So I'm gonna highlight with my Ofra. Ofra. Oh my god guys, what the hell? This thing just like broke on my table, but like it literally like fell out. I am so sad right now. That was my favorite highlight. Oh, I want to cry. There goes my favorite highlight. We're going to take what's left from the pan and just continue. The video must move on. <laughs> you see, this is why it's my favorite highlight. Can you just... <sighs> Man, I can't believe it. It died today. Our lip color today will be Trap by Colourpop. And then I'm going to pair it with Bellini by Dose of Color. So we're going to do those two as our lip combo today. Okay guys, and this is the completed look. I look very date night outy, you know? I look very seductive, like there's wind all over and I'm gonna be a Victoria's Secret model. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in till the end of the video. And if you guys would like to see more of my videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. 
and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!